So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to uh, put the laser lens on this H piece and make yourself a microscope. So uh, in other videos, uh, the H piece might look different for different version of the kit. But as of now, this is the latest version. So your version and the video one might be slightly different, but it's the same concept. And here's how you do it. So first we want to remove the laser from the base plate. So take the connector, disconnect them, loosen up the thumb screw. And here's a, here's a laser, and what we'll do is we're going to carefully remove the objective lens from the laser body by unthreading it. And there's a back spring inside to push against the objective. So you, when you, as you unscrew it, you want to make sure you put some pressure so the spring doesn't just pop off and fly off. So hold on to the spring. The easiest way to hold it down to it is put it back in the box so that way it's not going anywhere. And then we could put the laser aside. And then this is the lens we want the subjective lens. So in order to put the lens in here, what we'll do is first, I'm going to zoom in, put this on the tabletop and zoom in so you can see it better. So you want to have the H engraving facing the front, facing the camera, or facing your eyes. So you can see only one side is engraved, the other side isn't. So this side, it's a smooth side, and this side is you have the engraving on. And then with the engraving side facing up, you want to be pushing the lens into the slot. Into the tabletop, like so. So again, I'm going to do it again. Zoom out a little bit. So push it in. And that's it. So now the lens is held securely in the H piece. And then you could put this on the camera of your phone and you make yourself a microscope. So once you put the objective lens on the H piece. Then we're going to proceed on mounting this subassembly onto your phone. So in this case, I have a Samsung phone, but uh, other phones is the same idea. Now, first, you want to figure out which lens you're using. So in my case, this is a very simple camera. I only have one lens. But if you have multiple case, uh, sorry, multiple lens on your camera, you have to figure out which lens is active. Uh, so I'm going to mount my camera, sorry, my lens onto my camera. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to hold it by hand temporarily and I'm going to take a piece of rubber band and I'm going to run across it, my phone. Then I could slide my camera, sorry, my lens relative to my phone. You could, you could choose to keep your cover on uh, protective uh, cover on or not. And then as you do that, you could see a circle on the screen. And this is uh, where the aperture for the lens is. Uh, now, once you have, once you center the aperture somewhere in the middle of the screen, then you know your lens is well positioned. So now we could use this. I'll try to hold it so you guys could see it. So you could see some dot. Of my polarizer. So obviously this is a little bit difficult because I have to show you guys uh, why a free 
holding everything. But uh, if you put the thing you try to image on the tabletop, and then slow slowly change the depth of uh, change in the focus by lifting up or down the camera, then you could see it's a little bit much. It's actually much easier. So one other trick we do is we can actually use a textbook to hold the cell phone in place. So let me show you that. So one of the trick for adjusting the focus for the camera is to use a textbook. So actually, your textbook, Introduction to Modern Optics, it's a very textbook to be used for this purpose. So uh, textbook have pages. So what we could do is we could put the phone on the pages, and then depends on how many pages we put on there, you could adjust the focus of the phone relative to the object. So in this case, we could find that. Uh, let me zoom in so you could see it better. You could see that it's still a little out of focus on the phone. So what we'll do is we'll give it a few more pages. So there, you can see it's much better. And give it a few more page. See, now it's well in focus. And also keep in mind your cell phone itself, some of the films have adjustable focus as well. So if you tap on your phone, you could adjust it. You could have a little bit of uh, more adjustment on your focusing of your microscope. So uh, using the pages of the textbook, you could have really fine, uh, almost uh, 50 micron precisions. Each page is uh, roughly on the order of 50 to 50 microns. You could have 50 micron adjustment, incremental adjustment of the focus of your cell phone uh, microscope. So this is how you uh, construct a microscope out of your cell phone. So you could see many details of this card, and I could look at any other, uh, many other objects as well. So have fun with uh, with whatever you're discovering. And uh, now to put the lens back, let's show you how to do that. So put this up, put this aside, and we're gonna hold the rubber band off. Pull the rubber band off. Put the cell phone aside, and now we could push the lens out. So now uh, it will be easier to push it toward how you came in, which is engraving site for the H piece where the H is. So we want to push from the non engraving side toward the engraving side. So push out, like so. Now the two pieces are separated, and obviously you could put it back together. On the reverse, put it out. remember, push it against the tabletop. That way, it snaps in better and easier, and also it, it stays flat if you use a tabletop as your reference. And then to remove it, just do the reverse push back, and that's it. So then, remember, keep the spring. And keep your uh, spring back. Put your spring back into the laser. Remember, don't lose this. And thread the lens back. So to prevent cross threading, so you could see the thread doesn't go back straight to the laser. You want to make sure you don't cross thread it. So you could thread in reverse first, and then thread forward. So that way it helps prevent cross threading. So now this should be back, the laser should be fully assembled back to where it was. And then we could connect this back to the connector. So now you have red wire and black, you want to color match them. So red goes to red, black goes to black. And it's also keyed so it will be much difficult to go the other way, but don't force it. So you should see 
you should be able to snap back the two. So red goes to red, black goes to black. And then we could put, uh, if you want to, you could put the connector back to its slot and mount the laser back. Slide it in. Lock the set screw or the thumb screw, and that's it. So turn it on just to make sure it works. Yep, so now we have this kit fully assembled back to the original condition. So this is what you have to do to when you finish using the lens as a microscope. You, can, you want to put it back the way it was so you don't lose parts. So that's it. Thank you. Bye.